building, but there's nothing. I can walk away from the building, cast Disguise Self on myself, and make myself look exactly like Ford. Just a shorter version. Yeah. 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 Okay. Oh my god. So you've done this before. I've only seen uh, people do that, so that's what I'm going to do. So you uh, so so the the height difference you can create with with the disguise self, I believe is is it a foot? Uh-huh. Yeah. So you have I'm a 4 foot tall. You're a 4 foot tall Ford. Ford but a per, but a perfect replica. Good. A Ford on a smaller scale emerges from the shadows and saddles up alongside you Ford. I was going to say it's a very focused Ford. Oh wow. You know. Oh. Yeah. Like a tiny little Fiesta. <laughs> <laughs> Are you doing a variation of Mother's Love right now? Yeah, well, I've never used this spell before, so I just did what you did. Oh, it's good. Uh, mistakes that I have made, learn from them, to keep quiet. Yeah, I was going to say the same. Howdy. Don't say it in the open, you guys. Wait until we're in the bath. Yeah, let's right, just right. be Major mosey in the bath. All right, right. Not that's slow okay. And steady. That's a good point. <laughs> Can you put your, your thumbs in your pockets and give yourself a little waddle? Yuck, yuck. Look right on right there. Tiny mosey. So cute. <laughs> with this, the is, this is a dark mirror, man. Oh, it's it's a little dark, dark, dark a little, Give a little spit oh. so people know you're coming. <laughs> <laughs> Which is strange because the spit actually emerges from your sternum. Uh, and your eyes focus, and you see a familiar face in the water across from you, uh, leaning kind of arms akimbo against the rock. Is what looks to be uh, uh, a, th a thick, a thick hilt of a sword resting. Apparently, uh, in the hot tub, uh, you see a familiar, pale-looking, muscular woman. Uh, with uh, darker hair that fades to light, um, as there is Yasha kind of staring you with a curious look. Fresh yeah! 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 off the East Coast. Scoot in a bit. Scooting, scooting. Oh, hi. Oh, hi. Oh, hi. Oh, hi. <laughs> I'm here, a little sleepy, but I'm here. <laughs> As she goes and does her thing, I just want you to know that Frumpkin does follow her, and I leave and walk around the block and duck into an alley or any private place and cast disguise self on myself to look myself, uh, make myself look very, very okay. resplendent. Roll a uh, stealth check for Frumpkin. For Frumpkin? Yes. It's not very good. It is only uh, a four. Ooh! Oh, As Frumpkin begins to kind of run his way in, one of the guards goes, piss off. Poof, and kicks Frumpkin about ten feet oh, off, and kind of stumbles and skids, and then gets Can back up. Does that take not okay. any damage? Uh, yeah, I say take one point of damage. Go yeah. On. No, no. Oh! Did you one point? I rolled hit points for him uh, when I made him, and it was one, so he's gone. <laughs> you kicked his cat into oblivion. You kicked you his kicked cat into I didn't. burst. I did. You kicked cat so hard. Out of his head. You kicked the highlights out of his head. <laughs> Now, Billy, who's laughing now? You real, uh, that's cool. Real thankful. Yeah. Real grateful. Gotta get some help with this. Feel like feel like we did you a good service today. I'd, I'd happily pay you, but your friend already took all my money. I didn't take anything from you. I just want one. I didn't take anything from his pockets. That's what he's saying. <gasps> I just. Want something in return? You know, you provide a service, you get something in return, what, right? What? Uh, if I can be of service, I'd be happy to. Who's the gentleman? I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, oh friend. I heard gentleman. I'm walking over. Oh, friend. I don't need to roll an inside check to know that's bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> I, I apologize. I, I don't. I apologize. Uh, <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. I don't know what you're talking about. I. <laughs> I'm gonna uh, get closer to Thed and say, "In thieves can't. Yes. You can trust us. We're one of you." Make persuasion. <laughs> yes. 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 Natural Ooh. twenty. Yes. Oh, fuck. <laughs> yes. Oh. He glances down at you. Looks. Kind of taken aback and <laughs> returns to you in Thebes Canton and, and, and says, 
and the rest of your compatriots. They're cool. You watch as Nott slowly creeps into the room, <laughs> heading over towards Ford's pack. <laughs> what you doing? <laughs> there's no, there's no liquor in here. Oh boy, I better go down to the bar. What were you looking for? Nothing. Liquor. Were well, you looking for this? And I hold up a folded piece of paper. What will you give me for it? I'll give you a whole gold piece. Oh, no, something. I don't want money, I want something. Give me something. <laughs> Two gold pieces. Not gold pieces. What do you have? Hmm. Let me look. <laughs> <laughs> I have a vial of acid. That'll do. <laughs> what is this? It's a blank piece of. Oh, fuck you! <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm Maybe back. it's I, invisible ink. I hang back the acid. Just oh. <laughs> Don't try and go through her stuff. You're just gonna get caught. All right. <laughs> what are we talking about, grumpy people? You're right. He's not very he's grumpy. Not grumpy. He should be. If he, if I barfed up salt water every morning, I would be grumpy. Maybe if he spends one more time around boat and get grumpier. One, one acid you know what? I think he is grumpy, but he stands next to Bo so much that he looks happy. <laughs> <laughs> grumpy ass wingman makes me look better in yeah, comparison. Yeah. You know, that's, mean, a fair, that's a fair I mean, point. I stand up. It's like that club friend. Yes. Like, Don't go through my yes. things. I know everything I have, and I walk out the door. <gasps> okay. And then when I walk by him, just I'm going through your stuff, by the way. <laughs> Which one? I the leave. Little, I've already walked away. Oh my God. <laughs> I shuffle in with like a towel. <laughs> what the fuck? Hi, hi. <laughs> Get out of here. Yeah, sorry. Get out of here. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, bitch. I am downstairs having a drink. All right. <laughs> In the back, you can already see there are large scrolls that are hung up with like beautifully painted nudes. You can see uh, rows and rows of. of <laughs> I made you plan for this. I know you did. <laughs> yeah, you did. <laughs> yeah, you did. Yeah, you did. So, um, well, are you looking for anything in particular? Uh, I, you know, uh, my tastes, uh, they are very varied, um, and I'm always looking for something new. Oh, I have recommendations, if you like. Of course, I'm very uh, interested in literature recommendations. Mm, there's uh, Zemnian Nights, very popular. Uh, there's the Enchanting Tryst, for those who have want more of a fantastical uh, perspective. Uh, Scent of the Sea, for the traveler, <laughs> who enjoys the <laughs> perusal. That one, that one is, is Outer Empire, so. You know, folks have varying interests. Uh, there's Tusk Love, that one's a little more saucy. Um, Tusk Love! <laughs> well, if you want, if you want something more gentle, something that's more of just a classic love story, uh, we have God of My Heart. Shallow breaths are a bit more body, and. Um, I want know. to buy Tusk Love, please. <laughs> right this way. Cool. And as she walks away from us, you know, I, 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 I'm obviously here for a purpose, but I, I like uh, historical fiction as well, and I like when the two things are combined. Do you know what I mean? Sex and history. <laughs> she kind of leans in for a moment and gives you a look. Follow me. And she leads you both to the back. Now, why? Define historical. What are your interests? Well, I just like um, you know uh, historical fiction. I don't like shallow, uh, you know, smut. Uh, I like to learn something while I'm uh, uh, being titillated, I suppose. <laughs> make, make a persuasion check. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> You made me do this, Leo. Oh, I like to Education. 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 I have rolled a Swansage that is 20. Okay. Oh. Yeah. And she goes, 
It's been banned for the past 15 years, but I do have a couple of reclaimed copies of Courting of the Crick, if you'd be interested. I'm very much interested in this and other books as well, but we will start with The Courting of the Crick. Okay. Ooh, shallow breaths. That's a good one. <laughs> as as the, the, the guy turns around, you can see him. He's um, mid to late 30s, you would expect. Uh, dark hair slicked back, kind of uh, pulling the hairline pulling back a bit, male pattern baldness style human. Um, and as soon as he turns around, he can just. Oh, I, I'm just perusing. I've. Uh, <laughs> it's not one of your favorites. I've. I don't know. I've not read it. I couldn't tell you. <laughs> What's your name? I need to go. <laughs> uh, and he just kind of pushes past you, and as he begins to exit the chamber, he goes, "I'm all right. I'm good. Thank you this time. Goodbye." And just like darts out into the rain. I open it up and see what Shallow Breaths is about. Uh, it is smutty. <laughs> Yes. Uh, did you uh, did you two want to get anything? Oh yes, I want to buy the the Tusky Love one. Uh, that is also three silver pieces. Okay. And I want to buy the other one of the expensive place. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, I like this. Uh, Fifteen gold. But be secret one. You put it in my bag, okay? Okay. Paper bag. Paper bag. <laughs> very, very terrible, discreet handoff where it's like. <laughs> um, if you're ever interested, uh, I do my own writing, uh, and I'm in the process of finishing uh, the third chapter of my next series. So I would love I do... to see it right now. <laughs> well, it's not done. I, I, I. Do you have a sample? Yeah, what is your niche? Well, <laughs> she gets a little, oh, little nervous and oh reaches behind and pulls out a, a small piece of paper and says, "It's, I need this back because it's, it's part of my manuscript, but you can have a glance over it. Tumblr is so happy right now. <laughs> what is it? What is it? Uh, at a quick glance, it, it appears to be not very well written. <laughs> it's a right. bit, bit ham-fisted in its analogies and its, its, its descriptives. Um, but uh, you appear to have to have caught the the middle of a a saucy <laughs> meeting of a a strong strapping uh, uh, farmhand who is currently trying to s uh, seemingly work down the the cost of a piece of equipment by the purveyor who's you don't have enough information to make up the full story but it's this very much kind of like how how can I get this at a cheaper price. And the guys look very heavy handed with her innuendos. Yeah. 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 The, uh, the, the, the salesman's like, well, I don't know. Awesome. How much are you willing to pay? <laughs> it's like, well, I only. And it's just, it goes back and forth, and you're kind of like, I can see where this is going, but it's not going there fast enough. And it's. <laughs> they keep talking about the, uh, yeah, the heft tractor. of his equipment. Yeah. A no. lot of reference to his equipment. The gauge of his pipe. <laughs> so, yeah, it's. Um, do you. Uh, do you like it? <sighs> Oh, do I? Make a deception check. Fuck! <laughs> I was thinking of Ford as oh, I was trying to be got, nice. Yeah, yeah, you were doing it. You were doing it. All her hopes and dreams. Here it comes. Never thought I've. That's, it's that, cocked, that's right? That's it's that's cocked. cocked. Okay. So thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. 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 Uh, oh, oh. Eighteen. Oh, good, good. I'm so glad you like it. You know, oh yeah, I have the tusks love too. Mm -hmm. You go back and forth. <laughs> I read it and I keep looking at Ford like. Oh. And then go back to it. Uh, it, it I assume it's about some sort of orc love. It 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 is actually. Uh, <laughs> it, 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 it deals it deals with uh, uh, the union of of a half orc and the daughter of a traveling merchant um, as they they meet <laughs> <laughs> they meet on the on the Amber Road up near Druvenlode, and it goes into a, a saucy union between the two. But they can't because what would the parents think? What's the name of the half orc? Uh. <laughs> Oscar. 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 With a K. Oscar. What you, uh, what you reading there, Jester? Nothing, Oscar. <laughs> 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 Don't 
don't you worry about it. <laughs> oh, man. Why are you trying to sneak through our stuff? I was n I would never do that to a friend. Molly told me. Molly told me you were in here rifling through my stuff. I was hungry. <laughs> mm. <laughs> There's a definite explanation for this. What were you looking for? Seafood. You must have some on you. You're of the sea. I love shrimp, and I never get a chance to get any, so so we're so landlocked in here. I love the taste of the sea. Do I? I'll just tell him what you were really looking for. <laughs> <laughs> I was looking for your letter to the Solstress Academy. My letter? But not why. I want it. What for? That's fine. No one's in trouble. I I want to give it to Caleb. Well, why? What what would Caleb do with it? What you would do with it. Study, learn magic, become more powerful. I don't know a lot about magic, but I know he has the potential to be very powerful. You do. And I need him to be. Why not? Why do you need him to be powerful? So he can save me. I mean, we can help save you. That's, that's what friends do. And any of us who get more powerful can help you. Not. What do you need to be saved from? So much. So much. No. He, could, he could change me. Change you? He could change this. <clears throat> I understand. I know what it feels like to be ashamed or worried about what you look like. I do. Give her just enough of a knock on the head to break the spell. Okay. Okay, easy, easy, easy. Open the door. Open the door. I open, I, I open the door and I slowly open up, like trying to get funnel a rat out of the room. Just like, here, here you go, here you go. Remember what we talked about. Just reach for the flask. Fuck. <laughs> no, your mustache is much nicer. So, Thank you, honey. Oh. Let's, um, uh, do you know what a mime is? Mm. Let's just, you just mime this mission. Okay. You know. Oh, there's a fierce wind I've got to let's, fight against. Let's, let's, <laughs> oh no, oh, I'm in a box. Caitlin, oh no, Caitlin, can my you box is getting um, Oh no, <laughs> don't worry, I'll no, climb yeah. out. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> Do you know uh, what Ford is implying? Is you know I can make myself look like I'm anything. I'm not an idiot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Thank you. I, I, you probably will not be hearing from us again before the task is done. No. 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 Trying to make it sound, it's just nothing's working. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I, I'd say take the take oh, this, take the foot and mouth sign. <laughs> <laughs> we need the handwriting of High Richter more than Lord Sudan's handwriting. You're not there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're good. We're good. <laughs> Thank you. We won't trouble you any, any longer. No worries. Um, how did it go? You did you get the handwriting? Stupid pigeons. Did you get the handwriting? <laughs> <of> the <laughs> Lord Richter? Yeah, but I'm not sharing it. Yep, got it. Got it. No problem. Read it, looked at it. I understand what it looks like. Let's go. <laughs> we need it really nope, bad. Sorry. Not, not, not going to help you. What do they say? What do they say? A though? whole bunch of stuff, but I can't say it around them. I just won't. Well, just okay. out of principle. All right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but, oh, but just, actually, do you think you could go back and say that you forgot to ask a question? Just, yeah, just not to say, hey, 
the whole point of this was to find the high rector's handwriting as like, well. I understand that and these maybe... two are really busting your balls, and I commiserate <laughs> that with that. But we do, we do need, in fact, to ask. Now, see, if you ask nicely, yeah, things will happen. I walk back up to the door. <laughs> <laughs> Knock, knock, knock. <laughs> the eye peeks through the window once again. One more thing. I'm yeah. keeping an eye out to for anyone watching. Totally, totally forgot to ask. You don't happen to have any handwriting from the High Richter, do you? No, that would make this a lot easier. Yeah, I, I, I know. <laughs> Great. Sorry. Have a good day. You too. No. <laughs> None. I feel like it might be a little noticeable to carry around a rug. But it's <laughs> not too bad. Most people in the Tri-Spire don't carry around bedrolls. Yeah, <laughs> yes, but it's a little. Shh. You're not there. It's not him, it's a pigeon. It's true. You're right. You're right, Sam. It's a, it's a There's a meta-gaming pigeon in this. Bonus <laughs> 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 action. Bonus <laughs> action. Can we please make the metagaming pigeon a thing now? <laughs> I've played with a few in my time. <laughs> um, can I help you? No, I'm fine. I am, I'm perfectly, perfectly fine. I don't need to do any no, of this. No, I don't. I'm fine. He reaches down and pulls a cloth up and puts it immediately over his face. Okay, um. Um, what's no, no, I don't like. I was born in a place like this. I don't want anything to. I'm gonna give myself a little puff. Sir, there's. And I'm just gonna go for it right in his face. Oh. The ruckus is audible all the way down the block, so I turn it's myself crazy. into a half orc woman and pick up, not uh, in, like my baby, and, and, and put her head on my shoulder and start walking towards the building. Okay. Out of the chamber right, down nearby. Go hallway. between them like Noah, uh, uh, like Noah through the water. Oh, that's okay. the wrong Moses, yeah. <laughs> right. That's the one. Like <laughs> Noah through the ark. Yes, yes. <laughs> Right. Oh, there's so vomit and eggs everywhere. So you can see. Oh, ex excuse me. Uh, can I help you? <laughs> Make a deception check, please. Oh no, me? That's a negative one. The <laughs> <laughs> Um. Uh, it's what, 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 what seems to be the problem? Looks, looks kind of, as opposed, as opposed to being <laughs> it, 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 empathically interested in well-being, is genuinely kind of disturbed by the sound <laughs> the child is making, Rosemary's baby style. <laughs> Frumpkin appears on the back of uh, the guy's neck and just starts tearing in. Uh, oh God! Oh, 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 Roll an attack for Frumpkin, please. He watches as the as the the close. I I don't shoo shoo shoo, and is trying to get uh, uh, Frumpkin to leave now. Off in the distance, you have you hear. You have no legal authority over me. <laughs> <laughs> There's now other other. Uh, what's your problem? Fever. fever. Let me see you. He comes forward and puts his hands out towards his eyes. <laughs> do you do that? <laughs> Make an intimidation check with advantage. This is everything I wanted. I'm going to scamper towards the office if I can, as fast as I can. Make an acrobatics check to try and dodge past their grasp as you begin to dart through their. A uh, nine. Nine! <laughs> got me. As you run, all of a sudden there's, there's a tug on your cloak. One. It shatters and breaks on both sides of the window. You watch as the window just shatters outward. I'm just going to jump out of it. All right, well, the, the paint itself is about that big, so you're going to take more of the window with you to do it. Yeah, it's okay. All right. <laughs> you just shoulder roll, leap through, shattering the window out of the infirmary, rolling into the alley. You see this happen as Molly just, like, chaotic spill of glass shards and, and purple skin. Run! <laughs> Maybe if I get over, I can pull the other end and help jump. people. You can jump ten feet. I think I can. Oh, God. oh dear Lord! What if you fall on the ground, Bob? What, what this happened? Look, we're basically gods. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I can make this jump. You gonna try? I'm gonna cast up at the wind. Oh Sorry, I'm gonna not cast it. I'm gonna use a key point. I'm gonna take and kind of gather my chi, and along the edge of the branch, tick, 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 
anime run. <laughs> okay, then the leap. Hang on, hang on. Your jump distance is doubled. Yeah, you're fine. <laughs> you're fine. No roll. So just, just, just roll for the hell of it. I just want to see what happens. Just so it's not a one. No ones. I don't trust Gil right now. I'm not going to trust Gil. I'm going to go with the cobalt die. Yeah. Natural 18. Yeah. yeah. You off the branch, leap. And I kind of like. No sound. See if I can jiggy the brick out. As your finger presses against the brick, it kind of slides in about a half an inch. And you hear this sound over by where the metal large cabinet you is. Just unlocked the oh, shit. Metal oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Do I see any change in the abjuration magic when she does that? Yes. Yeah. Does it go away? It vanishes. Vanishes. Oh! Uh, I, I can cast a message. We are the fucking best! <laughs> you can respond to this message! <laughs> Uh, the carpet peels back I don't know. and then begins to kind of fold back in its space and then kind of fold up again and it begins to slightly shift and rise. And the carpet almost seems to be just kind of gliding in the air on its own in the vicinity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What? I don't know. Like flying? Okay. And it spins towards you and then <laughs> rushes in your direction. I'm going to roll initiative. Whoa! Flying flying a carpet! <laughs> oh, oh, we're fighting a carpet! <laughs> what are you trying? And Ulog just goes, Grabs towards his neck and runs, leaps off the stairs towards her and attempts to tackle her. We should just take off while you we watch. Visit. Yeah, he goes and she falls onto the ground and the landing of the spiral staircase. They both kind of slide a moment. You watch as he's, What are you? And he kind of grabs and pulls that orangish bead that he had on his necklace and slams it into her mouth and holds it over. Oh, shit. And there's a moment of tension before. A flash of white, fiery, burning light explodes, a fireball <laughs> sundering oh the interior of the staircase. You all have your ears ringing, the pain's there. The ones that are closest by would have been you, Kelvin. I need you to roll dexterity saving throw, please. Uh, seven. That's a failure. Uh, 21 points of fire damage. Oh. Caleb goes unconscious <laughs> onto the ground. As you guys all come to in the moment, you look down at the, at the middle of the staircase. The walls are blackened. The staircase is currently in the process of burning. And down you see the twisted, gnarled corpses of both Ulog and the High Richter Prusine. You suddenly hear this very loud, high pitched whine sound. And you're like, ah. It kind of causes your head to look, and you, especially, glance over as you begin to surmise the direction. You look past, and you can see the tri spires there. And in the direction, you see the mighty Zauber Spire of the Halls of Erudition there in the distance. And you see there this growing black spherical mass beginning to emerge from the side no. of the lower third of the tower. You watch as it expands, the whining gets louder and louder. I'm going to <laughs> cover. You hear this get crack down! sound as the black sphere suddenly folds into nothing. And where it was, you see all the stone that made that part of the tower collapse, crush, and then stumble. The tower. <laughs> begins to slowly shift as you hear in the distance screams echoing around. The music stops, and the attention of the guards suddenly shift over from the banging door to the tower crumbling. You watch as the tower, suddenly there's a flash of blue light, and the tower stops, and you see a, a brief shift of a force field on the bottom that holds it in place, partially collapsed. And you see two figures take off from the top. You see two, you see two other figures leap out of the hole from where the, the explosion, kind of weird black sphere was at the base of it, and leap down about 35, 40 feet below the tree line. And you see the two figures kind of begin coasting, flying through the air in the direction of where they were as bolts of energy start tsh, tsh, arcing out of their hands towards where those two other figures fell. 